Hey everybody! I hope you are all having a fabulous weekend. I have a super fun, amazing, awesome layout to share with you today. Um, I will be using the Scrappin' Happy Studios Printable Collection. Uh, this is a collection that also has coordinating sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I'm also going to be using a cut file from cut to you this video and this project is just lots of things I love all together I am going to start by backing my cut files so I cut some of the papers from the scrap and happy studio principal kit at 12 by 12 but then I also cut a bunch to be somewhere around 8 by 8 and that kind of shrinks the patterns and that's gonna allow me to go ahead and back my cut file with all these beautiful patterns. Now this cut file from Cut To You is part of one of her kits. So with the kit, you get the cut file, but then you also get this whole printable sheet of instructions to create a layout. I didn't follow the instructions at all. Um, I probably have in the past a little bit but for the most part I buy it for the cut file and I look at the designs um, and Gwen's designs are always stunning and beautiful but I'm me so I always like go my own way um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead now and back each of these little cut file pieces I'm not gonna make you watch it uh, but you can kind of get an idea of how I did this I alternated the patterns I backed all these little pieces with this beautiful papers from Scrap and Happy Studio. Um, and then I'm also going to pull in all the sequins. I'm going to pull in some more Scrap and Happy Studio flares, all the good stuff. This video is all the good stuff. Once I had my cut file backed, I wanted to zhuzh it up a bit. I wanted to add all lots of just fun little details to make it amazing. So the first thing that I'm going to add to section, so I'm going to add, um, I did a lot to this cut file. I'm trying to like figure out what I did first. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess I started by adding some flair. So there are these open pieces that are like the cards from your craft cart. And I went ahead and added some flair to different areas of my cut file. So in addition to each of the little flare clusters, I am also adding in a little sparkle of sequins. I love this sequin Mike Sajodi designed. Um, so I will leave links down below. I'll link to the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop where you can pick up the sequin mix. I'll link to Scrap and Happy Studio, which is where you can grab the um, printable kit and also all the beautiful flair that I used. And then I will also link up the cut file. So you will have all the links down below. Okay, so. Oh, and I also pulled out some Nubo drops. I just added it to two little sections of the cut file because they were kind of like the book plates for the book and I wanted them to look different than the patterns behind the books, but um, I didn't want like a sequin or circle or anything there. So I just filled in that area with uh, some opaque Nubo drops that coordinated with the rest of my pattern papers. And then some of the... Uh, cut file pieces I filled in with um it's a nouveau drop it's called morning dew but it's like glossy accent so it's just clear there's no color to it or anything and it's glossy and I did that for things like the water bottle or the water jar of, with paint brushes in it and stuff like that turned out super cute I told you oh I added them to the wheels too so I told you I did a lot to this cut file I really really spiced it up I added some tone on tone sequins to the little planners that are in the rascal cart uh, because I had the perfect colors because the, the sequin mix that Jody designed matches the colors in this Scrap and Happy Studio collection perfectly. So I was really able to add to this particular 
project and get the correct like tone on tone color match. Here is a close up of all the gorgeous detail to this. And now we just have to set it aside and let it dry for overnight. <laughs> just to make sure those Nouveau drops really dry well. Okay, so there is my finished and dried cut file. Now I wanted to add something to the bottom, across the bottom of my page, something for this cart to kind of sit on, but I didn't want to do a typical uh, kind of thing. I didn't want to do a typical like um, strip of paper or something like that. So what I did was, was I had these leftover stitch rub-ons from 49th and Market. So I have lots of these stitch rub-ons, but this was like the last little bit from an almost finished package. And I decided that I was going to use these lovely black stitches. They added that like handmade crafty type of feel to my layout. They were easy to put down. They were black and neutral so they'd really pop off of the colors and the things in my photos and in these collection this collection that i'm using and plus i got to use these up before something happened to them because they were literally just kind of floating around my desk so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to adhere them across the bottom of my page and then I added a couple like little ones up in the upper left hand corner just to kind of balance out all of the stitching across the bottom. So here is my cart all finished and here are my photos. This is going to be, that's right, a six photo layout plus the cart. So what I did was, was I printed my photos down to two by three so they're not very big and then I went ahead and matted them like photo strips so that we have three with the black mat three with the black mat and what that does is visually it just looks like two sections of pictures and then by adding the black mats you the photos will still have pride of place when you look at this layout finished layout it's adorable it's cute yes all those things but because the photos are matted in that black and they are a larger element on the page. They they don't really are com they're not really competing. The uh, white cut file kind of blends in with the white background, and so you can see that the photos are the heavier element there, which is what we want. We want the photos to be the focus. So now let's talk about embellishments. So this cut up this uh, principal collection from Scrap and Happy Studio has the cutest little crafty um, embellishments. Like they are so, so, so cute. The photos I am scrapbooking today are from uh, the crop that I attended and taught at for Crap Around the Clock, which is in um, Pittsburgh. And I loved teaching there. It was so much fun and I get to do it again in November. So that was really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of choose some of the embellishments that I think will fit in nicely with my page. Uh, I do end up kind of cutting out a couple more. You can see how these, they, they arrive to you as an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So you can just print and fussy cut, or you can print and then kind of set it up for your silhouette to cut them out for you too, if you want. So once I fussy cut, my cluster is kind of decided how I wanted to layer them up. I'm going to go ahead and place them on my page and um, I'm going to pop up some of the elements with some tabby dots. Love tabby dots. They are also available in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. I left a couple bits hanging over the edge so I'm just going to trim those off. And I'm going to add just a last little sprinkle of sequins because sequins. Um, I'm going to add them around these cute little clusters. And then we are going to call this layout all done. Here are all of your close-ups. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you all again soon. Be sure to check out all the links below down in the description box. I always love to hear your comments on my uh, projects and a thumbs up or hitting the subscribe button is always helpful. Thanks. Bye.